Victor Campos here. On our last project, on our last video, what I did was I installed the new uh, PhoneGap template onto Eclipse and then I installed it into my virtual device. So now we've got a new app. Now this is a uh, this is our foundation for creating our HTML5 based projects. Notice we've got something called example and uh, everything inside of that project looks normal but now we've got a new folder called assets inside of assets we've got this ww folder and inside of that folder we've got various uh, web um, supporting files we've got html files javascript files css files so this is a web project we're converting a web project into an android project so how does that work we have an index file we always need an index.html file. That's the first screen full of content we see in any project, in any Android project, based on PhoneGap. You can right-click Index and select Open with HTML Editor, and then you'll get the HTML code that makes up this uh, project. I'm going to close the section of the license. And we have about 42 lines of code. So breaking this down a bit, we have an HTML project with uh, the usual head and body content, but then we've got a few lines. Uh, one very important line, for example, line 36. This is where the magic happens. This is what converts an HTML project into an Android project. Line 36 is a reference to JavaScript. Notice it says JavaScript here, and it's referencing a file called cordova.js, which I can see here in my package explorer. Cordova.js. That JavaScript library basically translates any plain JavaScript commands, HTML code, CSS code, etc., into something that uh, Android understands. And the result is then a project that I can load up in a mobile device, in this case, Android. I can take, once I've designed my app completely, I can take this core code and take it into a Mac and create an iPhone app. Or I can take the exact same code and take it into Microsoft Visual Studio to create a, a Windows Phone app or even a, a Windows 8 app. So we're creating a project in HTML. Uh, and to show you how easy it is to edit this, if you have any experience in HTML, let's say I don't want this to say up. Apache Cordova, I want it to say my company's name. And instead of devices ready, I want it to say welcome. So if I go back to my code in my index file, I see on line 30 an H1 tag, a heading 1 tag that says Apache Cordova, where I can simply make it say uh, campos.com. On line 32 and 33, I have references to this is device ready. Instead, I want it to say welcome. And as the app is loading up, instead of saying connecting to device, I can make it say please wait. Notice Eclipse is telling me I've changed three items, these listed in red. And then also I see at the top a little asterisk that things have not been saved yet. So I want to remember to save my file and then I can click the run button. Since I'm going to be running this on my emulator several times I'm going to select the emulator and then at the bottom select use same device for future launches. That makes sense doesn't it? I don't want to have to select this every screen this screen every time I just I just click the run button and it runs. So I click OK switch to my virtual device wait for it to load up and there we go it's got the name of my company and my welcome message. Other things that I can do are, per, for, for example, change the color of my uh, welcome uh, message and maybe even the blink speed. That's going to be found under our CSS file. And CSS is, is a, affects, here on line 25, CSS affects the, the look and feel of your, of your app, the color of the background, the positioning of elements, um, the colors of, of links and such. Uh, and then this uh, JavaScript controls the interactivity of it all. And then the HTML is the foundation, placing our content in the appropriate place on screen and such. So this HTML file is being edited, uh, given some style, with index.css, which is in the CSS folder. Notice in your Package Explorer, we have a folder called CSS. If we open that, we'll see index.css. And if we right-click and open with, 
CSS editor. We'll see the CSS. It's more lines of code. It's uh, over 100 lines of code, but it's pretty straightforward, what we've got so far. What I want to change is the, uh, the, the rate of my blink of my animation. So notice line 113 and 114 have two references to how fast this blinks. This says 3,000 milliseconds, which means 3 seconds. Let's say I want this to blink this very fast. I'll put 200 milliseconds on line 114 also. So 200 milliseconds. I need to save this file. And then I need to run the file, run the project. Back to my emulator. Wait for the update. Look at that. I'm getting a seizure. 200 milliseconds. Well, maybe 1,000. One second. Maybe I don't like that color, actually. So the color is found on line 96. Notice I can put my mouse over one of these color codes. And I get the preview. Event.received. If I look back on my index file, event received is the color of my welcome message, whereas event listening is the color of please wait. And that makes sense here. Event received, event listening. So let's say I want that color to be something else. Off the top of my head, I know some colors, such as dark red. And then while I'm waiting, just for fun, we can do white. I'll save both of those. Run it again. Switch to my emulator. There's my update. Doesn't blink as fast anymore, but now it's red. And you can continue to make changes here. Change your background colors, your text colors. Uh, you can change your, your logo. Notice here on my line 50, it says dot dot slash image slash logo dot png. That's saying the first dot dot slash means exit the current folder, go up one level of folder, because we're looking inside of the CSS folder where we see index. Dot dot slash means get out of that folder. So it takes us back to www folder. Then we've got image. Go into the image folder right there and then you'll find logo.png which is right there which is our little phone gap mascot so in order to change this you need to replace logo png with your own company logo let's say I put it in there and it's called my company so then I could change my code to make it say my company dot jpeg or gif or whatever it is but i recommend png files ping files they have a better quality and um, transparency and such and then i would save it and run it and get my company logo in there can't quite do that at the moment because i don't have a company logo but you get the idea so this is what we, what we would be doing we would be editing css html and javascript to um to create our project. So this is what we have so far and now we get to the daunting task of creating the rest of our app. Well we're going to create it in HTML instead of Java because again I can reuse my core code on different platforms. Now to start to create the interface and the content of my app that's going to take more effort but I'm going to show you in my next video this great tool that will allow us to quickly create our interface so we can start adding content. So come back for that.